I came across uh, an article on BBC Trending not long ago. Um, BBC Trending is basically a segment they have which focuses on, I think principally on technology issues, um, but that includes sort of, um, I guess you could call it political cultural, the political cultural side of um, the digital world, so to speak. So BBC Trending, um, it's sort of, if you like, it's a segment of news stories that doesn't really feature on the mainstream news are it's like additional material so to speak anyway I came across something interesting about a young Vietnamese rapper who's now living in the United States his name is um, Son Nguyen um, I should say at this point apologies if I'm mispronouncing that name um, with English letters it's spelled N-G-U-Y-E-N I know it's a very common Vietnamese name I've never quite known how to pronounce that so any Vietnamese viewers, I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing that, maybe you could tell me how to pronounce it correctly. Anyway, the point I want to talk about is this guy is a rapper, um, but he's made a video which has been uh, apparently viewed 300,000 times. Now, I've tried to find it on YouTube, I can't find it, I don't know whether it's been taken down or if he's used another source. I'm a little bit disappointed I couldn't find it exactly. But they showed a bit of a clip of it in this BBC trending article, and I'll put a link to it under this video. Um, the point is that uh, whilst rap has quite a big scene in Vietnam, it's always been a sort of uh, safe, safe subjects. Things like love, uh, I mean relatively safe subjects, love, um, just sort of aspirations, things that are not too controversial. Um, but this guy's different because he's making an explicitly political video where he's extremely critical of communism. Um, Fuck communism, fuck communism is part of the lyrics. It's uh, it's interesting. Um, he's getting quite a lot of support back in Vietnam, I'm pleased to say. I say I'm pleased to say because I, I've made my views on communism quite clear. I hate communism. I hate the unfairness of communism. That is to say that in one party state like Vietnam, there is, there's no fairness when it comes to opinions because it's basically agree with us or else. That's the government logic. Um, almost inevitably, of course, there's been an army of uh, pro-communist people online to attack people like this guy, saying things like, oh, these Vietnamese boys and girls live overseas, and they're saying bad things about the country. But the point is, he's not saying bad things about the country, he's saying bad things, or um, pejorative things about communism. And that's the problem you get in single-party states. A lot of people sort of get brainwashed by this idea that if someone criticizes the government or the party, then they're against the country. Actually, that applies to any country. Just because someone's criticizing a government doesn't mean that they're against the country. Now, when I've criticized Scottish nationalists, um, that's different because they're not just criticizing the government. They they're actually are against the country. They want the country dismantled. That's the difference with dissidents uh, like the guy I'm talking about here. From what I see, he's not anti-Vietnam at all. He's just um, opposed to the political system there. And um, I can understand why. You know, there's very few communist countries left in the world today. And even amongst those that are, to what extent, the, to what extent they are actual Marxist systems is highly debatable. It's very often the hybrid system, certainly in the case of China, and I would say probably Vietnam as well. Um... I do think Vietnam continues to have serious freedom of speech issues. I do think that it's very difficult to criticise the ruling government without facing repercussions. And this is the nature of a single party state, it's just like China. Um, although admittedly I know less about the situation in Vietnam than I do about the situation in China, because I follow China more. But I know the nature of communism is basically it does not allow dissent. And I think that's utterly reprehensible. So. I will always support people who are calling for more freedom of expression or railing against a system that is so basically unfair. And communism is by nature an unfair system because it only allows one opinion to be heard, um, which is agree with us or else. I don't know if it's like China whereby they'll allow dissenting views to a certain extent but then they'll crack down on everything else. Uh, I mean in China there is platforms for debate but it's not direct criticism of the Communist Party, or at least it's, um, you know, what a, my point is they'll put up with a certain amount 
um, and it's probably better than it was, but definitely the the censors in China and probably Vietnam as well are very, very, you know, on their guard for anything that's seen as dissent. Um, and I think what happens is they actually, I don't know if they pay people online or if it's just a case that people are brainwashed and ignorantly following whatever the government says, but there is an army of people who go on cyberspace to try and harass um, people from their own country. Now their logic is these people are living in another country and they're saying bad things about the government, so I suppose what they're saying is they're hypocrites. But what they're not acknowledging is that people like this this guy, this rapper, they have no other choice. If he'd done that in Vietnam, he would be arrested. So doing it from the United States is the only choice he has. What other way can he have communicate without facing arrest? That is the point. So if you're saying like he's a hypocrite because he's living in America and he's saying bad things about the government, I put it to you, well then how does he express dissent? And if your view is he shouldn't express any dissent, then frankly you're just being ignorant, you're just being a, a pawn of the government. Um, we're talking about basic human rights here, basic free expression. That's all it is. And no argument can rationally go against that, really. Um, yeah, so I, uh, it's a pity I can't find the whole video, but incidentally, this guy's not a terrorist or a radical, he's just a rapper, and what I, from what I gather, he's just, he's expressing his frustrations, um, and I can understand that, because, uh, I, f I think there's a lot of Vietnamese probably do feel uncomfortable with a single party system, but they can't say so. I mean, Vietnam is, uh, you know, it's got a population of almost 100 million people, so there's bound to be dissenting views, there's bound to be a variety of opinions. Um, but, you know, single party state limits free speech, it's just the nature of it, and it, I think it's um, what the Vietnamese government needs to realise is that, yes, they're a sovereign state, yes, it's, you know, it's not up to outsiders to tell them to change, but. The point is, um, this is, you know, the the universal trend is towards democracy. It is towards the basic human right of free expression. You can't counter that argument. It just, it's nonsensical. Okay, thanks for watching.